Hi everyone, we just released uh, the latest beta version of Synthmaster 1 iOS version 1.3 and I'd like to show you guys the new features in this uh, latest updates. We have some major uh, new features coming up. This is a public beta so uh, just follow the link I posted and um, download the beta and uh, see it for yourself. Uh, we hope you will like it. Uh, and just a reminder, it's the last two days of our winter sale and you can purchase Synthmaster 1 uh, for only $9.99, that's 50% off. And this, this sale is ending on Sunday night. Okay, now let's uh, start looking at the new features. First of all, um, <clears throat> let's go to the presets browser. Um, we added uh, a lot of new presets. Um, Previously, I guess we had 500 presets. Now we have uh, over 650 factory presets. And uh, with the addition of the new in-app purchase features, IAP store, uh, you will be able to purchase our desktop uh, presets upgrade. We have really uh, nice presets in our uh, uh, desktop factory presets library. I guess it's around 1300 presets and there are some really nice audio demos on SoundCloud, you should check them out. Yeah, so let's go back. Uh, um, this is available through IAP and hopefully this year we are planning to release at least uh, five uh, new expansion banks for Synthmaster 1 on both iOS and the desktop, Windows and Mac. And what else do we have? We have MIDI program support. So you can easily create uh, MIDI banks and MIDI programs by dragging and dropping uh, an item from this presets list over here. You can drag and drop and create your your MIDI banks and programs and you can use your MIDI controller to send uh, control change or program change messages to change the current preset. This is very handy if you are using uh, a foot controller for instance to change presets. And aside from the new presets, the MIDI programs and the IAP store, we have cloud synchronization uh, support. Um, this is uh, our own cloud implementation and you just have to click on the preset name and you can do multiple things. You can either download public presets uploaded by other users by clicking on this menu, or you can click on the uh, sync my presets with the cloud menu and then you can uh, synchronize your own Sitmaster One related data across multiple machines. If you're on Windows, Mac, iPad or iPhone, Yes, you can synchronize all of your data uh, seamlessly uh, with the click of a just button. And yeah, it looks like we downloaded all of the uh, public presets. Now let's click on this online button. And yeah, these are the presets uploaded by other users. For instance, let's look at ARP Starfighter. That's uploaded by Ilya Samokvalov. And let's play this presets. I'll Go to the settings tab and turn on my MIDI controller. As you see on the settings tab, we have some new uh, set, uh, settings like the audio IO settings, the buffer size, sample rate, uh, uh, background audio on off or recording on off. Uh, you should turn off recording at uh, on the iPhones especially. Uh, and also uh, we have uh, like for uh, scales we have a scale root note and we have global polyphony here which is really handy if you want to limit polyphony globally for all presets. And let's go to the keyboard section and I will talk about the new scale related features. Synthmaster 1 comes with uh, around 350 new scales in various uh, uh, 
tones like ranging from 5 tone to 12 tone in either equal tempered or alternate uh, tuning. For instance, we have some 7 tone alternate tuning scales. Let's look at them. Okay, let's play this guy. This is Arabic scale. Let's initialize this preset and play this Arabic scale. Now there's there's a button here next to the scale which is fill octave. If you uh, tap on this, uh, it's going to be turned off and the the scale um, notes will be uh, con will be consecutively on your uh, MIDI keyboard uh, for each semitone on your MIDI keyboard. Uh, a, a note from the scale will be assigned. It's a lot easier to play uh, the scale uh, when fill octave is turned off and you can even do cool stuff like let's record some sequence using the arpeggiator. I'm just playing chromatically if like starting from C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Okay, let's make this 16 step and play this and let's yes. And yeah, let's play a leg outro for these notes. Now, here's something cool I will do. I will just change the scale. This is Makam Rast. Now, this is Makam Or some 5 tone pentatonic scale. Now let's turn on the filter and add some modulation to this preset. I clicked on uh, this uh, on the keyboard tab. We have some new modulation sources. You can just drag and drop over here, for instance. Now I'll create a modulation using the mod view. Now when I move my mod wheel, uh, you see uh, you see uh, the small dot um, circle moving around the knob. This shows the real time. Uh, this is a visual indicator, real time visual indicator for the modulation. Let's also add some modulation for velocity, but, but before doing that, I want to change the modulation amount for mod wheel on filter cutoff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to long press the cutoff here and suddenly uh, I can change the mod amount like this easily instead of going to the mod matrix. And similarly, I will create a velocity modulation for cutoff. And now I will edit the arpeggiator steps. Just, just long press the step volume and change it. Oops, sorry. Okay, yeah, I changed the velocities. 
Hold on. Yeah, it looks good. And now I'm going to change the velocity modulation amount on the change the uh, waveform I'll just click on the waveform and I will uh, click on the import waveforms menu here as you see we added import and export support for waveforms presets and scales so you can easily import your own waveforms or scales or presets from other locations and you can export them from Synthmaster 1 to other locations for instance, let's choose this preset, this waveform. It should be imported under user category. Yes, as you see, it's here. Password. Now let's add a new modulation from LFO1 to the oscillator waveform index. And let's make this a global. Oh, sorry, I, I was modulate. I was playing with oscillator too. Let's turn it on. Yeah, now the tone is changing. Let's also uh, import a waveform for oscillator one, like this one. Wave tables, users, classic res. And let's use the other LFO to control it. Yes, and let's make this a global LFO, square uh, sawtooth. Oh, let's see the Just experimenting different skills. Okay, so I want to save this preset now. Let's uh, change the attributes a little bit. Like this is this is a sequence. As you see, we have some uh, detailed instrument types and attributes. Let's make this uh, like a synth lead. Mm, melodic sequences and arpeggiated yeah now I can save this my first demo okay I saved it now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I will click on sync my presets with the cloud menu and this will upload my preset and it, it will also download presets I uh, uploaded to the cloud before as you see we have some new presets coming up yeah they're all being downloaded now and when we're done we will uh, see them and like I said before you can uh, click on this settings menu here and you can import or export presets for instance, you can click on the import presets menu uh, under my iCloud documents I have the desktop version of Synthmaster 1 and I have presets folder let me like my first preset let's download this one yeah we imported that one it should be somewhere here uh, it should be under my presets, but local. Yes, as you see, it's here. My first preset, it's here. And once you save a preset, you can also click on the save menu and then click on the upload to public library menu to save it uh, 
to upload it to our public library so that you can share it with the other Sintmaster 1 users. Um, I think that's about it. These are the new features in Sintmaster 1 and we hope that you like them. And uh, let me uh, reiterate one, uh, once more for one last time. Our sale is ending in two days, so don't miss out, guys. 